What's up YouTube and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing two video editing pieces of software. The software I've been using for the last five years, which is Sony Vegas Pro, or I think it's owned by Magix now, and DaVinci Resolve 15. I don't like to do any reviews of software or hardware until I've used it in anger for at least 30 days. And as you'll see on the screen here now, I've used DaVinci Resolve for all my video editing since my first water fast video. So that includes all the water fasting videos, the uh, webcam and mic tutorial in OBS, the super hot review, whatever I called it, <laughs> the rant about how to record with OBS properly if you're doing an OBS tutorial, and the last one, which was my headset comparison video. So all of these have been done using DaVinci Resolve 15, which, as you can see, means I've used it in anger, I've used it in many different ways, and I've used a lot of the features. What I want to do in this video is compare the features that I use every day when video editing between DaVinci Resolve and Vegas Pro. Hi there, sorry to interrupt, Future Miles here. I've just finished editing this series of videos, and it turns out I actually recorded 46 minutes of content, which I thought was a bit too long to put into one video. So what I've decided to do is to break this down into sub-videos for each activity that I carry out during the video editing process in each program and therefore you'll still see the comparison between both programs doing the exact same activity but it'll be in a much more bite-sized fashion. So let me know in the comments below if you like this approach and I'll keep doing this for future series. I hope you enjoy. Okay so the first thing you want to do when you're setting up a project is make sure that the project settings match the maximum quality settings that you're going to have for any content in your video. The easiest way to do that is actually to add the highest quality content into your bucket first. Most of these software, so both DaVinci Resolve and Vegas Pro, will then set the media and the project settings to match the quality of that video that you're adding in. So if I was to give you an example, if I look at my media bucket here, and grab any one of these uh, Spark videos, I go to Properties and I go to Details, you'll see that if I was to drop this media into my bucket for a new video, it will set the frame rate to 29.97 frames per second with these bit rates and the 1080, uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. If I was going to be layering over the top the video that I'm recording right now on my camera, I would want to drop the camera footage in first because it will come in at 1080p but at 59.94 frames per second. So I would want that to take the priority so that when the video renders, it's rendered at 59.94 frames per second, around up, let's say 60 FPS for YouTube. And so I'd want that to drive the content quality of my video. You cannot change the settings of your project once you've added anything into the timeline. So let me show you that. Let's start a new project first here in DaVinci Resolve. And we'll add a random video in, let's say this one here, 27. So you see the first thing that happens is it comes up and says, the clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. Would you like to change the frame rate and video format to match? Now in this instance, yes I would, because the drone footage is gonna be the top quality footage that I'm putting into my video. So let's go change there. And what happens there is you'll see, if you go to File and Project Settings, you'll see that what it's done is it's matched the settings for the timeline and for the project to the quality and the frame rate of the media that I added into the bin. So, and this, has to, this happens the first time you add media into the bin, it doesn't happen every time you add media into the bin um, in DaVinci Resolve. In Vegas Pro, I think it's the first time you add media into the timeline. It's, the, it's not into the bin, but I'll show you that separately. Um, so you'll see that this has been set to 10, 1080 HD um, with square aspect ratio. The timeline frame rate and the playback frame rate are 29.97, and that's now fixed. Yeah? So if you've let the project set those settings for you, that's fixed. Um, but I'm quite happy with this. So that's what happens there. Let's do the same in Vegas Pro so that you can see the differences. So in Vegas Pro, we'll go back to our bucket, we'll drop in 27. Now, you'll see that in Vegas Pro, nothing popped up to say, do you want to change the settings when we drop that video into the bucket? But if I drop that video into my timeline, if you look closely here, and I'll zoom in in post for you, 
Um, the project, before any video is dropped into the timeline, is set to 1920 by 1080 at 60p. As soon as I drop the video into the timeline in Vegas Pro, the project is automatically, because I've got this set up in my settings, not to ask me, it changes to the, the quality and the format settings of the first piece of media you drop into your timeline. So for this instance, it's 29.97, as we showed you in the DaVinci video. So I've actually disabled this, but if you go into options and preferences, you'll see here it says prompt to adjust project settings to match first media added to timeline. Now I've disabled that prompt because I always want that to happen. That's just a standard part of my, my workflow. I know that the first media I add to my timeline will be the highest quality media source that I'm putting into the video. So I don't um, get it prompting me to ask, but if I was to uh, tick that on just now and go okay, and then let's just remove that. You see it went back to 60 and hopefully if I drop this in now, it prompts me up. Do you want to set your project video settings to match the media? And so then you can say yes. Now I'm going to tick that again because I always want that to happen. So I don't want it to prompt me next time I decide to use Vegas Pro to make a, a video. Um, so you see that they both do that and that's great. And they do it in slightly different ways. As I say, DaVinci does it when you first drop the media into the bin and Vegas Pro does it when you first drop the media into the timeline. And that is the setting of a project. And it's important that you get that right. If you fail to get that right at the start, it can be very painful trying to unpick that, especially if you've done several hours of editing and cuts and everything else in say 2997, and then you go to render and you wanted it rendered in 59.94, that can be very painful to have to redo all of that work. Especially if you're doing it for a client that says it has to be 59.94 or 60 FPS and you've done everything in 30 FPS. I've said this before, you're gonna have a bad day. Get things right at the start, make your life easy. I guess the next most commonly used feature in a video editing piece of software is gonna be uh, scrubbing through the timeline. So how do you do this? Uh, what do I mean by that? and which software makes it easier to, to do. This one I actually have to give to Vegas Pro. And if you're used to doing this in Vegas, it can be a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit painful to switch to DaVinci Resolve. Once you're used to how DaVinci does things, you'll be absolutely fine, but let me show you what I mean. So the scrubbing is here. It automatically put itself to the end of the, um, the clip that I dropped in to the timeline. And if I want to drag that anywhere to see the, in the preview window here on the right what the output or currently is in, in that time in the timeline, I can click essentially anywhere I want. I can click on the video, I can click down the bottom, anywhere in the timeline and as you see the bar jumps around to match where, where I am. And that's lovely. That is something that you get used to and you kind of take for granted. Now if we switch back to our DaVinci project and we drop our uh, video into the timeline. Now if you see, if I click around here, nothing happens. This is extremely frustrating when you're doing <laughs> a project and you're used to using Vegas Pro and it doesn't do it anymore. What you have to do in DaVinci, and you get used to it after a while, is you have to click up in the actual timeline at the top to get the bar to move. Now, you can click and drag, which is fine, but you can't uh, just click anywhere in the timeline to make it, it jump to that point. To my knowledge, I should say. 